Dear Crusader family, I want to be the first to welcome you to the 50th year of Robert Toombs Christian Academy. We are very excited to have our students, faculty, and families back on campus. The beginning of this year will look different than it has in years past, but I know that you will join us in doing whatever it takes to minimize risks as much as possible and keep our kids on campus learning the way that we all want them to. The admin team and I have been working all summer formulating a plan to both minimize risk of spreading any viruses and being able to keep our students on campus and in the classroom. This is not possible unless we have complete buy-in from all of our students, teachers, parents, and visitors. During phase one of our plan, we will not allow any visitors past the front office. Please help us with this by entering the school through the front office and allowing Ms. Wing to serve you there. When we sent out the survey regarding returning to school, 95% of you were ready to send your child back on August 7th. This made us very excited and we look forward to seeing you all on that morning. You also responded to what concerned you the most. As expected, the answers varied greatly. I understand that all families are taking the risk of COVID-19 differently and there is not a one size fits all plan to open the school. Because of this, we ask that we all respect one another's opinion and we all focus on the most important thing at this time and that is the safety of everyone in our school community, mainly our students. As we dive into the policies associated with phase one, please keep in mind that we hope these measures are temporary and that the better we are at executing these plans, the faster we are able to loosen up the procedures and get back to what we have become accustomed to. After hearing the plan, I'm sure there will be questions. Therefore, I'm asking that anyone that wishes to discuss the plan or get clarification on any portion of it, please make arrangements to attend a meeting next week to discuss. Elementary parents are invited to join me on August the 3rd at 5 p.m. in the gym for a Q&A session. Middle and high school parents can join us on Tuesday, August the 4th at 5. If you are unable to make either session, and you have a question that you would like answered, please email me prior to the meeting so that I can reply back. In an effort to have smaller crowds, please don't bring children, and we ask that only one member per family join us. In the email that you receive this video link, you will also receive a Word document that has our safety protocols for opening back up the school for the 2020-2021 school year. In phase one, you, you will see that everyone is required to wear a mask or face covering inside of the buildings. Faculty, students, and guests will have temperatures checked before they enter the building in the morning. Faculty will report to the elementary hall or the high school hall before entering their classrooms. Students will report to the elementary drop-off, the front office entrance, or the high school parking lot, depending upon their grade. Guests will report to the front entrance. If a student reports to school, with a fever of 100.4 or develops a fever at some point during the day, they will be sent home immediately and can only return if the student is fever free without the use of medication within 24 hours. If a student or faculty member tests positive for COVID-19, they must remain home for 10 days from the onset of symptoms and have been fever free for at least 24 hours without the use of medication. A doctor's release will also be required to return. If a member of the household tests positive for COVID-19, the student must remain home for 14 days. Once the 14 days have passed with no symptoms, they may return to school. If they test positive, they must remain home for an additional 10 days from the onset of symptoms and cannot return until fever-free for 24 hours without the use of medication and a doctor's release. Please understand, we are going to do everything in our power to manage this policy Please help us keep our schools safe and our students present by speaking with your family and sharing these expectations. We can't monitor every student every second of the day. We need everyone's help to minimize risk and stay as healthy as possible.